Is it too late to train my dog? That seems to be a really popular question on the internet. And we'll talk about that in this video. Thank you so much for being with me. My name is Jessica, I'm the furry family coach. I am a positive reinforcement dog trainer and pet parent coach. And thank you again for being here on my YouTube channel with me. If you are interested in dog training dog behavior, canine enrichment, canine nutrition, this is the place for you. Thank you so much for being here. Click that, I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> I keep saying thank you for being here. Anyway, go ahead and click that subscribe button if any of that is up your alley, if that's why you're here. This is what this channel is all about. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. When you do, a bell will pop up. Click the bell and select all notifications. That way, YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. So yes, this video is all about, is a dog ever too old to train? And the short answer is no. But let's talk about that a little bit more. So uh, if you are new to my channel, again, my name is Jessica. I'm the furry family coach. I am a positive reinforcement dog trainer and pet parent coach. And I have also authored a book, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. The link is in the description below. I do hope you grab a copy of it. Um, so yeah, dog training, positive reinforcement dog training specifically is right up my alley. So um, is your dog too old to train? Short answer is no. Let's talk about ideal ways to train your dog. Um, first, the, the most ideal way to train your dog is to start when you first get your dog, when your dog first enters your home. Go ahead and start training. Even if your dog is a really little puppy, you can start doing simple things like getting them to come when you call their name, um, rewarding when they do walk in your direction. There, there are things that you can start to do, even with a really young puppy, to start training right when they enter your home, right when you first adopt them. Now, fast forward, let's talk about an older dog. Maybe you've just adopted a two or three year old dog. Go ahead and start training as soon as you do bring them into your home. Of course, there is an adjustment period. Your dog has been thrust into, no matter what age you adopt them at, your dog has been removed from everything they have ever known and thrust into a new situation in your home. So yeah, there's gonna be an adjustment period, but that's all built into positive reinforcement dog training. You give them room to acclimate and you are introducing more and more positive experiences to them and showing them that everything that comes from you is good and positive. So it's going to help them acclimate better and quicker into their new home environment. Now, say you've had a dog for a couple of years and you have never done any training whatsoever. It's still not too late. Let me say that again. It's still not too late. No, it is not. It may be a little more difficult because at this point your dog has learned that they don't have to do anything you say, that they don't have to listen when you call them. They don't have to do this or that. They don't have to come. They don't have to sit. They don't have to stay. Whatever it may be, they have learned that that's not what they have to do. So you're going to have to recondition your dog. And that does take a little bit longer, but that is okay. So basically the answer to the question is no, never too late. Your dog is never too old. You have not had your dog for too long. You can still train your dog. One thing I do want to interject is that no matter the age, size, breed, gender, so forth and so on of your dog, make sure your dog is physically well enough to be trained. And what do I mean by that? Well, a dog could have any number of ailments, whether it be arthritis, um, something I've personally dealt with, a collapsed trachea and a small chihuahua. There are things that you need to possibly adjust for in your training if your dog has some sort of uh, illness that is going to prevent you from training in any normal way. For example, with arthritis, you may not ask your dog to sit. You may uh, provide them with a soft surface and let them lay down instead. There, are, you know, what is something that is more comfortable for them because maybe their joints ache. Of course, you may want to do other um, holistic treatments that 
may help ease the pain and discomfort of say something such as arthritis in your dog. But when we are just talking about training, we want to make sure we are altering any training that we are doing. As long as your dog is fit enough to do some training, we can alter it to make sure your dog is comfortable and not in any pain, depending on any uh, ailments that they may have, especially when we're talking about an older dog. Um, so I did just want to interject that, but no, your dog is never too old to start training. And even if you've had your dog for a, a period of time, a number of years, and you've never done any training, that's okay. You still can train. It's just going to take a little more patience on your part, patience on their part, Positive reinforcement is definitely the way you want to go. Go ahead and check in the description below. There is a link to my book, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. It gives you the foundation of everything I teach every single one of my in-home clients before we start any additional training. We put all of these, uh, what I call my seven canine commandments in place. So if you are reaching this video because you think maybe or you just don't know where to start or you think your dog is too old. Maybe you've had your dog for too long and you don't think you can change the behaviors that uh, are currently existing in your dog. Know that you can start with my book. There's also in the description a link to my group. Go ahead and join that. I'd love to be able to help you out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments um, what brought you to this video. Do you have an older dog that you maybe have had for a number of years and you all of a sudden have decided, I guess I'm going to have to train this dog? Or maybe you adopted an older dog and you're just curious where to start. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know about you and your dog. Um, definitely join my group and grab my book because it really is going to give you all the foundational pieces that you need to really get a good start on training with your dog, no matter their age, whether you have a puppy or an adult dog or a senior dog, it's going to benefit you. And I really appreciate you being here. I really look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if it helped you at all. And I hope it did. I will see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.